yippee ki movie lovers, I'm Jan and in this video I'm revealing the Frozen 2 deleted scenes that completely changed the end of the movie, including a heartbreaking message from Anna and Elsa's parents and an awesome song for Kristoff that we never got to see. Frozen 2 took some dark turns, however the movie's original ending was going to be even darker, with the destruction of Arendelle Castle and even the possible death of Elsa. At the end of Frozen 2, Anna makes a momentous decision on how to restore peace to the land. We have to break the dam. But Arendelle will be flooded. She provokes the Earth Giants into destroying the dam, which causes a huge tidal wave that's about to engulf Arendelle, until a reanimated Elsa arrives and creates a giant ice barrier to stop it. However, a deleted scene on the Blu-ray now shows that in an earlier version of the movie, Elsa wasn't there to stop the tsunami, which went on to destroy Arendelle Castle and probably flooded much of the kingdom. The deleted scene takes place as Anna, Elsa and Kristoff assess what to do in the aftermath of the devastation caused by the flood. We'll rebuild the castle. New. No secrets. No deceit. New rules, even. This original ending would have been a little darker, as the consequences of Arendelle's betrayal of the Northuldra would have had a much greater impact on the kingdom. The Art of Frozen 2 book also gives more details on what happened afterwards in the original ending, explaining that the castle would have been rebuilt in a combination of the Northuldra and Arendellian styles. In this alternate ending, Anna also says she'll do away with the old lies and secrets and create brand new rules. That last point is likely a reference back to another deleted scene, in which Anna and Elsa discover a hidden room in the castle, and inside they uncover secret books and journals belonging to their mother. These next pages are in English, but also... North Eldrian? North Eldrian? But that language is forbidden. Why would mother know it? Or dare use it. It sounds like the repression of Northuldra culture in Arendelle was even more extensive than we saw in the film, and now as she's aware of both this and her own mixed heritage, it's clear that in the alternate ending Queen Anna planned to abolish this type of discrimination. Our lands and people now connected by love. There's another part to this original ending, in which Elsa uses her magic for honor to bring back a memory of her parents, revealing just how highly they thought of their younger daughter. I want to show you something. Darling, I've been thinking, it might be time to tell Anna about Elsa. I can't bear keeping her shut out anymore. She's maturing now. She can be responsible. It's not Anna I'm worried about. What if we let them get close again and the feelings are too much for Elsa? Joy brings her powers out as strongly as fear. But if anyone can find a way to help her, it's Anna. You may be right about that. There's not much that girl can't do. Her love could hold up the world. Lucky for the world. Okay, we'll tell her when we return. Thank you so much for that. They believed in you, Anna. And so do I. This scene was meant to address the idea that Anna has always felt insecure about her parents' decision not to tell her about Elsa's powers. And it could have been a beautiful moment that boosted her belief in herself, setting her up even better to become Queen of Arendelle. On top of that, when Elsa tells Anna, They believed in you, Anna. And so do I. The cutscene would have mirrored perfectly what Anna said to Elsa earlier in the film. I believe in you, Elsa. More than anyone or anything. This deleted scene may have also gone some way to address some people's criticisms from the first movie about Agnar and Aduna's parenting skills and their decision to keep the sisters separated from each other. Another big change to the film's finale was that originally it wasn't going to include Kristoff proposing to Anna. Indeed, Kristoff almost had a radically different character arc in Frozen 2, which started with his proposal to Anna happening early in the movie rather than at the very end. In earlier versions of the movie, Kristoff had an elaborate grand proposal and song planned for Anna in the castle gardens, which then turned into a charming duet for the couple. So, you're a lord now. Y uh, yeah. And here we are. Is it hot out here? I don't know, um, but I think it's romantic. Is it? Well, I thought, kind of. I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, and here we are, and it, I'm feeling very uh, romantic, because it is romantic. Oh. And I, I guess I, I, I wanted to ask you uh -huh. something. Yes. I mean, uh, okay. Why is this so hard? This is hard? I'm sorry. I, I didn't no. mean to. No, 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 no. It's not you. Aww. Hey, what do you think the 
the odds are that he turns out to be a deranged murderer and tries to kill you like the last guy she almost married did. <sighs> There are lots of intriguing moments and details in this deleted scene and song, such as the fact that Kristoff is now a lord, how it's Honor who ends up actually popping the question, and Olaf's savage joke to Elsa about whether Kristoff will turn out like Prince Hans. The scene is obviously a lot of fun and full of much more spectacle than Kristoff's sweet and simple proposal in the final film. Anna, you are the most extraordinary person I've ever known. I love you with all I am. Will you marry me? <laughs> yes! <laughs> but ultimately, the filmmakers have said that they decided to take the idea of Kristoff struggling with proposing to Anna and extend it over the whole film instead. Kristoff's original arc through the rest of the movie had him keeping secrets from Anna about how he was unhappy with his new position in Arendellian high society. And I'll go into more details about that in my other Frozen 2 deleted scenes video. Now, if Arendelle Castle was destroyed in the original ending for Frozen 2, it indicates that Elsa wasn't resurrected in time to save the kingdom, or as some rumours for early test screenings suggest, there's a version of the ending in which Elsa never came back to life. In the actual movie, after Elsa unfreezes, she falls into the depths of the icy water beneath Atahalan, and if you look closely, you can see the knock looking on. Concept art from the Art of Frozen 2 book shows the water spirit lifting the unconscious Elsa from the water in a deleted scene that might imply that Elsa didn't make it. And there's a moment from the Secret Room deleted scene I mentioned earlier that could support the theory that Disney were considering killing off Elsa. I can find no record of a human with power like hers, but for the ancient myths with their tragic fates. There's also something strange about the final epilogue scene in Arendelle. In the scene, Anna unveils a statue in tribute to her mother and father, but Elsa isn't there to share the moment, and the earlier part of the scene feels like it was originally going to be Anna's coronation day, given the very formal green gown, cape and crown she's wearing. Presenting Her Majesty, Queen Anna of Arendelle. And just how dressed up Kristoff, Olaf, and Sven are. Again, if this was originally Anna's coronation day, then it seems a little out of character for Elsa to miss her sister's special moment, given how close they are. And even if the scene was always meant to be just a statue unveiling for their parents, it still feels slightly amiss for Elsa not to be there. Still, ultimately, it seems like Elsa remaining dead at the end of the movie would have been an unlikely decision for Disney given just how popular she is. At most, they might have contemplated reviving her in a post credit scene, or perhaps teasing her resurrection in a third movie via an end credit sting or some other hint. But even that feels too much for an animated Disney film, given a third movie could be up to six years away. More probable is that in the original ending, Elsa wasn't going to recover quite so quickly. So, after the knock pulled an unconscious Elsa from the water, we would have been led to assume she was dead. This would have been followed by Arendelle being hit by the wave destroying the castle, then in the aftermath, Elsa would finally have come back to life. This ending would have been more impactful and darker, given the destruction in Arendelle and Elsa remaining dead for longer than she did in the final movie. We've also got many other deleted scenes in Frozen 2 that would have changed other parts of the story massively. I'll be going into more detail about the castle's secret room, Olaf's amazing deleted song, and the alternate version of Into the Unknown in my next video. You can tap to watch that here as soon as it's ready, or follow the link in the video description. And if you'd like to see even more of the concept art and amazing behind the scenes details I discussed in this video, be sure to take a look at the Art of Frozen 2 book. Links are also in the video description below. So do you like any of these alternate endings and deleted scenes for Frozen 2? And how do you feel about the ending we did get for Elsa and Anna? Comment with your thoughts below. If you enjoyed this, then a share and a like are hugely appreciated. Tap left for my full Frozen 2 playlist, or tap right for another video you're sure to like. Thanks for watching and see you next time, yippee ki movie lovers!